What's up everyone, Carlova Design here with a new and fun pattern today. I came up with a leather traffic cone this time, which is a very useful addition to any household because you can use it in so many ways. You can protect your seat so nobody sits there. Otherwise, you can use it as a doorstop if you fill it with something heavy. It's also a great sporting equipment for your dog. Click the link in the description to get yourself a copy of this pattern and let's get to work. For the orange parts, you will need uh, some stiff leather 2 mm and up, which is minimum 5 ounces. For the white stripes, obviously we need some white leather around 1 mm. Do not take anything that is uh, much thicker than that. For the bottom of the base, I recommend uh, taking something soft, maybe not as soft as mine, but it definitely should be softer than the main part. The pattern is designed for 5 mm stitching irons and it comes in A4 US letter DXF SVG and uh, 24 inches wide uh, format. So in this video I decided to try uh, filming the whole thing with a macro lens. Let me know in comments if you like uh, this uh, style better or do you prefer the old way. This is not actually necessary, but highly recommended. Uh, making the notches on the corners will prevent the corners uh, from sticking out too much. It's uh, not a big deal, but it's a really good thing to do. Now we get to stitch those white stripes on the cone. Let's do that. As you might have noticed, I didn't sand or burnish anything because these leathers are chrome tanned with some uh, rubbery coating, I don't know, polymer or, or whatever it is, which makes it absolutely impossible to do any of these things to them.
Now let's make it a cone. I'm going to use parallel stitching and uh, you can actually use whatever style of stitching you like. Be it a cross stitching or baseball or whatever might come to your mind. Before we start working on the base, take the top part of the base and place it exactly on top of the bottom of the base and mark uh, some hole, the exact same hole uh, on both pieces where you want to start stitching your side. So uh, this will help you align the bottom correctly when you get to that part. Now let's stitch the top part of the base to the cone itself. Do not attempt to assemble the base and then stitch it to the cone because that's not going to work. I want to call this part a gusset, but probably it's not uh, really applicable to um, a traffic cone. So let's stitch the side of the base to the top of the base. Simple. Start at the hole that you have marked previously. Did you mark it? Did you? I didn't, and this is why I had to spend some extra time trying to align the bottom correctly. You have two options. If you want, you can finish your side overlapping or you can also use parallel stitch or whatever baseball kind of stitch you want to use. In this case, we need our side to be one hole shorter and you have this marked on the pattern. Another little thing to keep in mind is that it will look better if these two seams are aligned. Now, if you marked uh, the stitching hole on the bottom as I recommended, you just align it with uh, the back seam and just stitch it on uh, to the bottom.
I would totally understand if you had a um, limited amount of likes to give. Otherwise, if not, you can give me one of them. Also share, comment and even subscribe. Click the link in the description to get this pattern. And as a little bonus, Bonnie is going to show you how to use this traffic cone. And I'm going to see you in the next one.